To be a warrant officer, it, it was a, a feeling, a great feeling to know that people depended on you and that you could provide all this information to them. You know, it's not something to make yourself feel better, but you feel better when you make the whole unit better. So every time I felt like I needed something, I'd go to a warrant officer. Because what I knew for sure is that they would take the time, whether I was lieutenant or one-star general, to take the time and sit with me and say, hey, sir, this is the right way to do it. And I guess my advice to anybody who doesn't already know that, you probably ought to learn that. Because without the men and women in this room, uh, the chaplain alluded to it a little bit, I think we might be lost. I was recognized uh, as my other fellow warrants as having the intestinal fortitude to tell the truth, whether they wanted to hear that or not. So I refer to General Pat when he said, wars are fought with weapons. But they're won by men. And now I include women. And he said, it's the spirit of those who follow as well as those who lead that determine the victory. And I think that one of the reasons that we are the greatest army in the world, that we're surely the greatest army national guard in the world, is because of the war officer corps and what you contribute and what you've given of your lives to your service. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.